we need to find the surface area for this frustrum and we're going to draw in two auxiliary segments that intersect up here which means um, we can use this as we're trying to calculate the surface area the frustrum was originally a cone with this top cone chopped off and we're also going to draw in another segment that goes all the way down to the center of the bottom circle we'll draw in the radius for the top circle the radius for the bottom circle and this gives us a cross section of what this cone originally looked like we need to find some of these numbers because the lateral area or the surface area for the shape is going to be the lateral area of that big entire cone before anything was cut off minus the lateral area of the small cone that was cut off plus the area of the big circular base plus the area of the small circular base and all four of those combined together will give us our total surface area we know the radii for everything but we don't know the slant heights so we're going to look at that cross section with those triangles we have a length of six a length of four a length of five a lot of right angles I'm going to put in a temporary variable of X and then because these segments are parallel to each other that means we have similar triangles so we can set up a proportion specifically X over X plus five because those two sides are corresponding to each other in those similar triangles is equal to four over six four over six would simplify to two-thirds cross multiply 3x is equal to 2x plus 10 which means that x equals 10 10 is going to be the slant height for the small cone and 15 will be the slant height for the big cone so we'll plug these numbers in then the lateral area for the big cone is pi times the radius of 6 times the slant height of 15 minus now for the small cone that was chopped off that's pi times the radius of 4 times the slant height of 10 plus the area of the big circle on the bottom it has a radius of 6 so that would be 36 pi plus the area of the small circle on top of that base which has a radius of 4 that would be an area of 16 pi and when you combine these together that's 90 pi minus 40 pi plus 36 pi plus 16 pi and if you do the algebra on this, that's 50 plus 36, so that's 86. 86 plus 16 would be 102 pi, and that is approximately 320.44 units squared.